Hola gente de Cultura Colectiva, bienvenidos a otro capítulo más de Backstage. Yo soy Ana Ibet, para los que no me conocen, y aquí estoy con una entrevista muy especial. Tenemos a LP, hace un mes aproximadamente estuvimos platicando con ella en un Instagram Live de Cultura Colectiva y nos estaba platicando acerca de su primer álbum en vivo, eh, Live in Moscow. Y bueno, ahora nos trae una canción nueva. Hi, OP. Thank you so much. Hi, Abby. how are you? What's going on? Fine. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just, uh, you know, um, I'm ready for this week. We're going to like release some new stuff and Perfect. I haven't in a long time. So I'm excited, I think. Perfect. <laughs> I know. I was saying that like a month ago, uh, we were chatting on an Instagram live uh, from Cultura yeah. Colectiva and mm -hmm. we, we, we talked about a new album called uh, Life in Moscow. And yeah. But now uh, you have this new song uh, called The One That You Love. What can you tell me about this? <laughs> um, I mean, the song, you know, it's, a, it's another passionate song. <laughs> I think that's, you know, kind of my vibe normally. Um, and it's just... Uh, You know, I feel like a lot of people can relate to um, as far as what it's about, you know, just trying to, you know, always trying to do your best and, and just be the most for the person you're with. Um, and um, being like, how is that not enough? <laughs> okay. okay. So it's a common theme in my music, I guess. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> I, I, actually, I think that he has uh, all this LP's essence. Mm -hmm. song. I oh, don't good. know. I don't know if I'm correct, <laughs> but I, I feel it. <laughs> yeah, right on. Uh, oh, and well, you also have this amazing uh, video where you're where we can see you riding a horse <laughs> in the mountains. Yes. <laughs> What yes. was your experience with this? Um, Uh, you know, I mean, I feel like I, um, you know, I hadn't ridden a horse in a while. Um, I, you know, I grew up kind of like, you know, riding horses here and there. My mom rode a lot and we had, uh, she had a horse for a while. And, um, but, uh, you know, I, I definitely realized when I got on there that I missed it. It was fun, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and um, had this beautiful horse named Madara. And um, we just like, you know, the beginning of the day, he was like, Like giving me like that kind of like you know I mean that's a, it's the only way to look at you because you're on him so he's like yeah you know <laughs> giving me that me. eye <laughs> yeah and I was like you know so and then we by the end of the day I could tell he was like yeah. uh, he was friendly <laughs> yeah he was you know it's like he was happy and and mm. and just chilling and it was you know it was so beautiful out there it was such, such a nice day it is a very beautiful place <laughs> perfect, perfect and now talking ag again about this song uh, yeah. I, I know that you have uh, that with the help of Mike Del Rio and Nate Company you made this song like yeah. like it happened with Lots of You yeah and how how hard is the confidence you have on them um you know so much I mean I feel like you know Nate and Mike are like um, I've said this before but uh The three of us are like a band, mm -hmm. it feels like, you know, and um, we're a band that doesn't tour. Like, you know, we like make the music at home and, um, you know, they do other things. And it's all my kind of like, you know, my concept and my like kind of artistic band. But, um, but you know, we are like uh, musically kind of just uh, a team that we kind of, um, I think we've learned um, what my... Uh, strengths are as an artist and a, as a singer and and um and just you know um bringing out the best parts of of what i like to do and um and i just trust them implicitly you know i feel like they um and you know and we we're always like kind of trying to push each other a little farther you know and uh like even on this song i felt like you know i felt like with this song with this album i wasn't as worried about like I wasn't ever worried about seeming like I was trying to rewrite Lost on You, but I just didn't even think about it on this record because I was like, you know, uh, whatever's going to come out, it's going to come out. You know, that's mm -hmm. my my style, uh, you know, but I I think I was, uh, you know, last record, I was kind of more um, purposely kind of like going off in some weird directions so mm -hmm. that I wasn't like sounding like I was trying to like kind of hone in on that success that I had like mm -hmm. cheaply. <laughs> <laughs> 
like in a cheap way. You know, I wanted to be like, because I like, I don't, I love、um, having different sounds and having,、mm-hmm. and, and like,、um, and I feel like I'm, you know, decent at like making a record that's got a bunch of different sounding songs on it. Not like it's like, feels like 10 of the same song.、Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. And maybe it's a weird question, or maybe it's so,、um, yeah, weird. <laughs> But when, when you make a song,、uh, you name it first, or, or you first write it and then you name it, or how is it? 90% of the time, I have the concept and the title, you know? And, and once、really? I have that, it's like I can do anything, you know?、Um, But, but sometimes I think, and even in、uh, this song,、uh, the one that you love,、uh, I didn't do that. It was just like, because that's the other, the other thing. It's either I have the title and I'm like going into the song wanting to say a certain thing, or it's like as I start like fucking around with like melodies and,、mm-hmm. and whatever,、um, suddenly like, you know, that will like those words will fly out of my head and then I'll be like, oh, I got it. <laughs> Okay. okay. I, I, thought, I thought you were actually g o n n a say that 90% of the time you write it first and then you name it. It's, it's curious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, it's, I, I write stuff from a title. It's like once I have, you know, I've had like songwriters that I'm friends with that are huge songwriters that like write all the words first.、Mm-hmm. And I'm not really like that. I kind of write like it's like a, it's like a feeling first.、Okay. It's like、um, my mood and where I'm at and what I feel like、uh, talking about. And then, Um, you know, and it's like a, like a, like a kind of a broad、okay. kind of vision. And then as I'm like, as I'm like, like, it's almost like, you know, sculpting something as I'm like trying to figure out what I'm like feeling and it just comes out like that. It's a gift you have there.、Oh, okay. I, I wouldn't, I would, I couldn't do that. <laughs>、ah, you never know. I mean, and I think I'm like kind of amazed at all the different ways of writing a song. You know, sometimes I, I see like the way people do it. I'm like, That was what was fascinating about writing songs for other people and, and with a lot of different people、uh-huh. um, that I, I never, like, you know, that I was just set up with to write with.、Sure. It was like constantly being amazed at like the different ways to,、uh, you, know, um, you know, to do it. Like, it's really cool. Sure, perfect. And, well, about this song again, how would you describe uh, uh, like different from the other songs? Uh, this one,、um, I don't know. You know, I don't know what to say about the rest of the record because it's not quite done yet. But、mm-hmm. I mean, this one just stands on its own. It's like, gotta, like you know, this is kind of like to me,、um, uh, I guess, like, I feel like it's like a, like almost like a, a rock ballad of sorts.、Mm-hmm. You know, it has like a lot of,、um, you know, there's some blues in there.、Um, but there's a lot of like very, like, kind of like, I don't know, we did a lot of kind of almost like, Not, I wouldn't say dancey stuff, but like very, like, kind of、uh, some different sounds that we've gotten on, on these songs. Like, there's some more like rockers,、um, but,、um, you know, there's a lot of like super, like, cool, cool songs. I like using my voice a little, little more chill in some songs. And,、uh-huh. and um, I'm really I'm, I'm digging it. And then we,、uh, we just got back, I just got back from a writing trip、uh, this weekend and、uh, got some, some new, new stuff that's kind of crazy. So I'm excited. Perfect. And well, now、uh, let's talk about this live concert you and your ba- band are gonna make on August the 1st. Yeah. And wh- what can you tell us about it? Um, well, um, you know, it should be interesting.、Uh, I, I think I'm not, I, you know, someone asked, like, are you gonna be okay without an audience? And、uh, I mean, hey, I played to barely anyone for like. Quite a few years before like everything <laughs> happened, I was just like, hello, yes, to be like a bartender out there. I'd be like, thank you, thank you, I love you, you know. So,、uh, I think I'll be all right, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna like go back to that, and, and it would be funny. Like, this is I'm talking about a while ago, I'm talking about like you know, like 12 to 15 years ago, and I'd be like, you know, just play at this like shitty place with like just the bartender, and then you know, go have a beer after the show, and they'd be like, you like. Sang like you were like singing to a stadium. And I'd be like, I know, right? It's crazy. I don't know how else to do it. <laughs> you know, and they'd be like, cool. And then, like, the next time we go back there, we'd be playing to like, you know, 15 people. And then it would like get, you know, bigger. 
but you know i'm i'm kind of i can i can draw on those experiences like an actor uh-huh. I'll just like you know i'm just gonna <laughs> do it and be like say to the one cameraman and that'll be fine <laughs> sorry that about the the <laughs> bartender it was so funny <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah! but you but you you need this kind of of euphoric moments also in the in the audience right like oh uh, yeah i mean i do you know but i have to say like um you know there are elements of that always like i'm never ever you know not want to do that that's like my you know my soul mm-hmm. but you know there's so much going on technically like you know in, in my you know we were in ears and everything uh-huh. so so there's elements of like like being cut off as well uh-huh. you know and then like you know the bigger the shows are the farther away you are from the audience so i just have to pretend it's the biggest well it is the biggest show in the world because mm-hmm. everybody in the world will be watching at the same time exactly like country, so yes. maybe it's my biggest show i've ever done i don't know we'll yeah <laughs> and do you think you're making you're gonna make another one or do you think it's it's gonna be the only one in this year? Uh, i don't know that's a good question you <laughs> never know maybe i'll do another one i don't know that's a that's a like we'll see If it's good, know. maybe I'll do an acoustic version of it or something like that. I don't know, but I think we'll we'll get through this one and see how it is. I don't know. I have have you watched any any really good live streams like that, like like big production ones? Yeah, yet? I haven't really. I yeah, have to yeah. Watch some. And and it's interesting as you say, because uh, sometimes, well, I don't know if you're gonna no, you're gonna make make it. I think to interact with your fans after that, right? Or you're not. No, I don't think so. I think it might be too much, but I'm going to do before the show. I'm going to like um you could watch sound check if you want okay. um and backstage ah, stuff. Nice. Um I don't know, maybe there is something else, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even but know. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> and well, have you been dealing with all this um the dig- digital situation through this? the digital situation? Mm, yes. You know, uh I guess I'm used to it. I mean, I'll be really happy when I don't have to see this backdrop <laughs> anymore. Like, I mean, everyone's like, the fucking red couch. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, yay. You know, the dog. I got, I got the damn dog here. Come here. This is what I do every, every, oh, oh. he gets so mad. He doesn't want me to stir. This guy. What's his my, name? Oh, his uh, name is Orson. Oh. Hi. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he, he doesn't know. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh baby. Um, but yeah, so like, you know, I mean, as much as I love this guy and he loves me and he's so happy I'm home, um I will be good when I'm in your country doing an interview with you personally. Oh, uh, but, but yeah. And, <laughs> and now you've been dealing with all this quarantine situation. I don't know if you're still in quarantine now. Yeah, we are. We actually got locked down again. So, um I don't know. You know, I have my little group of people that, you know, we've been tested and stuff like that. We hang out and I work. It's mostly about work, you know. I just came back, you know, for two weeks in the desert, like kind of doing stuff, uh, mm-hmm. working on the record. Um, I've just been like, you know, kind of funneling it into creativity and um, just like, I don't know. I've, I've, I've actually been kind of like surprised at myself. I kind of adapted pretty quickly and just was like, oh, okay no touring till 2021 or all right well whatever you know i mean i think you know time goes quicker than you think you know and like like i mean even the fact that it's like almost august now and like in march i was like is oh what i we going to be like are we are we going to tour in are we going to tour in may maybe right you know i mean when it first happened we thought like you know everybody thought we rescheduled our us tour four times and now it's in fall of 2021 so oh, yeah. it's like Wow. Yeah, in the in the music industry, I I think it's it's more insane with all yeah. this um rescheduling things. Yeah. I was like, you know, I I feel I feel most um sad honestly for uh, you know, new newer artists that were like getting getting sure. like, you know, having their mo- about to have their moment doing, you know what I mean? Like sure. that didn't really get to get exposed yet and sure. had everything. It was just like, uh, good. Mm-hmm. you know, like, I mean, that's a, uh, that's a lot, you know, I mean, that's right. I didn't, I didn't think about that before. <laughs> yeah. What is it? What is it that you miss the most about uh, live concerts? Like with people? Oh, it's such an honor and such a pleasure to be able to 
like visibly make people happy with with just music you're you're you've made you know mm-hmm. that you it's like just so like it, i mean it's like a it's weird you know it's like a wild thing it's like think about like the thing that you do the best or that you think you do the best or that you want to do the best and then if like you know like 3000 people applauded when you after you finished you're like <laughs> thank you wow you know it's like you know if you were like great at tying your shoes and then just like 3000 people were like <laughs> yeah you know it's wild <laughs> It's just like it's like what um I just miss um kind of making people happy and um you know just the uh the closeness that you feel it's like uh mm-hmm. you know it's like nothing else and it's beautiful and um you know like I said I'm I'm so uh lucky that that's what I get to do with my life sure. I just and um I'll never get over that I'll always be like holy shit <laughs> <laughs> So LP I hope I can chat with you again after Thank all you. after your your live concert you're going to Yeah have. me too because I want to know the experience you had <laughs> Yeah I know <laughs> I know I don't know I think I'll kind of be like I don't I don't know you know I'm a little scared <laughs> I'm like you know I'm getting all I'm getting in shape like Rocky and everything uh, you know I'm feeling really good <laughs> not going to have um, supposedly not going to have one drink until after my show <laughs> ah, two weeks of clean living <laughs> very exciting uh, so, perfect yeah, so con- congratulations for this new song and and good luck with your album with this thank live you so show. much and thank yeah. you so much for being thank here with us thank you very us. much you're the best see you soon gracias, gracias. adios bye bye bye, bye. Muchas gracias a todos por ver este video. Si les gustó, no se olviden de suscribirse, comentar, darle like y compartirlo con todos sus amigos. Gracias.